Greetings, this is Pastor Tim from the Martinsburg Union Rescue Mission with a Hope Lives Here moment. Hey, Thanksgiving's coming. Thank you so much for your support. Look us up online on Facebook or on our webpage at the Martinsburg Union Rescue Mission.com. Um, we could use your support either financially or donation wise. Definitely need your prayers every day. But let's talk a bit, little bit here about you are known. You are known by the God of this universe who created us. Your identity lies in the fact that you're loved and you are fully known by God. God knew every sin and every mistake that you would make, and I. You and I will never be able to surprise Him by anything that we do. The negative voice in our head screams, you are a failure. However, your identity is not found in what you say to yourself or what other people say about you. It is found in Christ alone and in God's Word. Christ took away our shame on the cross before the world was created. He looked forward to, to us delighting and finding our worth in Him. He desires to take away those feelings of inadequacy. Realize this for a second. You have been chosen by Him, the Creator of the world. He knew you, He knew you and I before our birth. On the cross, Jesus paid the price for our sins in full. He paid for everything done. Done. It doesn't matter how you or I see it. It doesn't matter how about how your friends see us. The only thing that matters is how he sees you and that he knows you. In Christ, everything changes. Instead of being lost, we are found. I, I love that. Instead of being lost, we are found. Instead of being seen as a sinner before God, you are seen as a saint. Instead of being an enemy, you are a friend to God. You are loved, you are redeemed, you have been made new, you are forgiven, and you are a treasure to Him. You are a son of God or a daughter of God. We are sons and daughters of the King. These are not my words, these are God's words. This is who we are in Christ Jesus. These are such beautiful truths that unfortunately we often forget being known by God should cause us to constantly look to the one who knows us far better than we know ourselves. 1 Corinthians 8.3 But whoever loves God is known by God. Jeremiah 1.5 Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I pointed you as a prophet to the nations. Ephesians 1.4 for he chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight. In love, he predestined us for adoption to sonship through Jesus Christ. See, we've been adopted. Every one of us have been adopted in accordance with his pleasure and will. John 15, 6, you did not choose me, but I chose you, says the Lord, and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit, fruit that will last and so that Whatever you ask in my name, the Father will give you. Exodus 33, 17, the Lord said to Moses, I will also do this thing of which you have spoken, for you have found favor in my sight, and I have known you by name. You imagine that? The God of heaven. The God of heaven knows every one of us by our names. Every one of us by our names, the God of heaven. I can't remember half the names, half the people I meet, but God knows every one of us. He knows every one of his children by name, period. There's no forgetting. There's no not knowing. He knows everyone by name. 2 Timothy 2.19, Nevertheless, the firm foundation of God stands having this seal. The Lord knows those who are his and everyone whose name, the name of the Lord is to abstain from wickedness. Psalms 139.16, Your eyes saw my unformed body all the days or all the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. That is, that is amazing. That, that is just awesome. And you know, again, God knows every one of us. He created us. We are made in the image of God. Your, our identity comes in Christ. Not what people say we are or think and not even sometimes our own thoughts, as I shared with you earlier, our thoughts can be very negative. God doesn't make junk. Every one of us has a separate DNA. Every one of us is made special in the eyes of God. 
He knows our name. God bless you. I hope this is inspirational to you today. If you're wondering, does anybody know your name? Trust me, God does. He's the creator of the universe, and that's what matters the most. Hey, thank you again for listening to Hope Lives Here moment, and have a good day, and God bless you for your support of the Martinsburg Union Rescue Mission. Till next time.